आपण पाहत आहात इन गोवा चोवीस तास दहावीचा निकाल जाहीर करण्यात आला यंदा ब्याण्णव पूर्णांक अडतीस टक्के निकाल लागलाय परीक्षेला एकूण अठरा हजार नऊशे चौदा विद्यार्थी होते पैकी सतरा हजार चारशे अठ्याहत्तर विद्यार्थ्यांच्या उत्तीर्ण केली The recent booklet will be available today itself on the official website of this uh, board. Uh, you can see this five uh, last five years recent 2019. This was the annual examination. That means the portion was for the entire year's portion for the examination. So 2019, 2020, this was the annual examination. You can see that result 92.47, 92.67. As you know that. Uh, 2021, this was a pandemic year, and the result was declared uh, based on the internal assessment scheme, that is a special scheme. In the year 22 and 23, to just cope up with one of the crisis of COVID-19, uh, we had to move to the semester pattern. That means half the portion for the first year, and the remaining portion for the second year. And there were two semesters, and the performance of the students, uh, it was taken, and the consolidated uh, result was prepared based on the first term and the second year. Now, in this year, 2024, you can see this graph also. As I've said, it is annual, annual, 2019, 20, uh, 21 internal, 22 and 23 semester. You can see this graph also. And uh, coming to this 24 examination, appeared 18,940 and passed 17,473 giving the result as 92.38%. 400 schools have sponsored their candidates for this examination, of which 319 are the aided schools, unaided 11 and government 78. 19,557 they have registered for this examination and there are 24 withdrawals on various reasons. You can see this result uh, gender wise. Boys 9,318, pass 8,555, reserve 38, and the result is 91.80. Girls 9,596 appeared, 8,918 pass, 59 reserve, and 92.90% is the reserve. So, out of 18,914 from the regular category, 17,473 have passed and the result is 92.38. Now, why we have kept this result as a result? Because of non submission of their internal assessment scheme, despite the repeated calls or maybe with the grades also they did not submit. We have not submitted schools. Schools. How many schools? There are major one or two schools, major one or two schools, and others. Here and there. Any reason for that? Huh? Reason for that not to. The reason is only the reason is only because uh, they have to just check whether the uh, whether they have set it properly in the proper format or not. But the students will not. I will I will come to this. Let me finish this and then we'll come to it. And then uh, you can see the next slide here. This is for private ITI and the repeater candidates. Now, repeater examined take place, they have taken few subjects. So, out of 232, 82 they have passed, and the result is 35.34. ITI freshers, that means they have not completed their class 10, but they have done their diploma course of two years. Uh, there were 10 such candidates, 4 have passed, the result is 40. Now, repeater board, that means because of some, they have taken entire subjects, all subjects. Uh, there, are, there are 10 such candidates, 1 have passed, the result is 10%. And a private freshers, these are the candidates who have you know, retained or maybe they have directly appeared for the class uh, 10 examination. There are also candidates who are failing in the class 9 and they have appeared as a private candidate. So, these, this is the figure that you can see, 360, 36 they have passed and 145 are placed in reserve category, once again because of non-submission of their internal assessment uh, marks. Uh, you can see this depend the candidates uh, results appeared 464 uh, from 104 regular schools and there are four special schools out of which 407 they have passed and the result is 87.72 percent 
the educational facilities granted to these Divyanga students. One is 50% concession in the exemption fee. There is a special paper for this uh, candidates depending on the ability. There is an extra time. There is a special sitting element preferably on the ground floor. Then there is a nearest exemption center that we grant them. There is a scribe or what is called as a reader or a writer. There is a facility of enlarged print of question paper. They are also allowed to draw second language and take subjects like painting, cookery, DTP, data processing, astronomy or music also somewhere. Uh, there is a computer based exemption for visually impaired candidates. There was a one candidate who has answered uh, his exemption on the laptop. So the soft copy of the question paper this was made available to him and he has answered on the laptop and uh, he has uh, answered this examination. All papers he has answered uh, based on his based on this software. This is the result of special schools. There are four special schools in the state of Goa. One Sanjay Center for Special Education, Porvari. 31 candidates were sponsored. All passed, our result is 100%. St. Javis Academy of Old Goa, 23 candidates out of 23, all 23 have passed, 100% result. Lok Mishwas Patistan's Virani Sunny High School for Hearing Impaired Children. They have uh, sponsored four, out of which two have passed. The result is 50%. And again, once again, Lok Vishwas Patistan's IJ Virani and NI Virani School and Home for Visually Impaired Children, Dabri Kunda, out of five, three have passed. The result is 60%. And this is the percentage that you can see for those candidates who have passed in this examination. Uh, what we call as 46 to 59. In that percentage, the number of the candidates are 5,348. Uh, 60 to 74, it is 6,370. And 75 and above, it is 3,809 candidates. You can see the social category wise SSC results of this examination. Uh, in the general category, 13,603, they have appeared and 12,470 have passed. Needs improvement is 377 and this is the facility once again this is improved, uh, this is allowed to keep terms. That means those who have uh, failed or those who have got the needs improvement in one or two subjects, they can take the admission for the 11 plus. So there are 687 uh, such students from this category. Reserve are placed in this category, they are 69 because of the reasons of non submission of the grades or maybe it is a uh, internal assessment marks. And the pass percentage here it is 91.67%. From OBC, 2920 have appeared, 2764 have passed, 45 are placed in this improvement, and 101 they have been allotted in the category. Reserve are 10. This result is 94.66%. SC 382 appeared, 344 passed, 12 needs improvement, 80 80 21, 6 are placing reserve category. ST 2009, 1895 have passed, 42 are placed in needs improvement, 80 80 are granted to 60 candidates, and reserve is. Well, this percentage is 94.33 percent. 